like Easter is tomorrow. Therefore, Good Friday was yesterday. Therefore, we can plant. That would be so nice by the fire pit. Yeah, there is. A love seed action. Oh, we got blackberries. Blackberries. Red raspberries, elderberries, blueberries. Hey, you already grabbed a box? Oh, I, I know how to Look at you. Before. So rule of thumb in Tennessee is you don't plant until Good Friday just because of frost and stuff. Now it's not the guarantee that you won't get a frost, but best to safe, play it safe by then. So we are gonna see what we're gonna gather here to uh, get the garden started. This is the Teleco Plains Amish market. Now there's also an Amish market down in the Inglewood that we go to. Inglewood always up to no good. That has a fantastic uh, assortment of goods too. Um, well, we opted for this one because I don't think the other one's open yet. April 1st, I think. So we'll see what we can find. Here's the little breakfast ones I like. The little tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. The four pack of Ramas. You got more? I just picked up Ramas. Okay. They got a four pack. It's Carolina Golds. Trinidad Scorpion. Second hot. That's hot. I mean, I'm like right here. This is kind of. Mm. You already filled up the box. I know your circle thing is not doing this good. Can never have too many jalapeno points. Do four of them. Okay. Milo. Haven't heard of those. Sweet bananas, that's Babby's favorite. Sweet cayenne peppers, huh? These are all bells. We gotta get plenty of bells. Yellows, orange. Yellows and oranges are the sweetest. Lettuce. Lettuce. Cabbage. Broccoli. So we got a head start on lettuce and, and broccoli this year. We finally got a jump start on the cold stuff, so we get, a, get it going before anything else. Swedish mint ivy, bug repellent plant. That smells delicious. So you have that for bug repellent, and you have citronella, obviously, for bug repellent. Olivera is always nice to have around for the cuts and scrapes. Yeah, it's still, it's still early enough for cilantro. Just can't let it flower, you said, right? They got Malibu beans. Basil, chives, Malibu beans. I think we need the half runner. The half runner. Oh, sweet potatoes. <gasps> we should do those. Mm -hmm. That was depressing. That one? Or the back that one? one. The back one. This one? You just put, uh. I'm just, just carrying it. Okay. I always like to get a cucumber for the pig, just so that way she has snacks. These are uh, these are pickles, FYI. If anyone didn't know that. He's got jokes. Pretty boy's got jokes. So this is good. Not too carried away. Not yet. We can get more peppers and stuff. I think. You have to fix your garden boxes. I know. We got to fix the garden boxes. Plenty of peppers. I think we got a good start on tomatoes. Can always add. We're, yeah, we're down a box already because we had uh, lettuce and broccoli going, and, and Brussels sprouts. Uh, it's not bad. Seventy. Usually we're about a hundred. Yeah. All right, so 70 bucks. 70 Not bucks. bad. Not bad, this self-sustaining garden. Let's go check, see what's over here in the self-serve. We got little bunnies. What's up, bunny bunny? We got little guinea pigs. What's up, guinea pig? Guinea pigs. So the Inglewood one we went to one time had little shepherd puppies. 
like Macy and I told him to her puppies in one of these things and they were like 150 bucks or 200 bucks for the poor pups. Like I wanted to save them because I felt really bad. Um, so they have hens too. No, no hens yet, but yeah, a couple guinea pigs and some bunnies. We're gonna see you tomorrow, huh, Mr. Bunny? You gonna hide some eggs? All right, so that wasn't bad. Um, they were the only ones that were open. We don't think the Inglewood was open yet on I think Google. It opens April first. Yeah, on Google it says temporarily closed. So we're we're hedging our bet on the safe side and not driving all the way down there like we did last year, only to find out they were closed and then find the sign and then go back later. Um, just like this one, we drove down here, what, last weekend? Yeah. We tried driving down here last weekend, but thankfully out by 411, there is a sign that says we are opening March 29th. Mm -hmm. um, so we did drive halfway to this one to find out that it was closed. I seen it on Facebook this morning. I should have sent you a text. It's one of those it. things like, do you trust but Google Maps saying temporarily closed or not? Like, I feel like they would be open because it's good Friday, and if this one's open, then that one should be open but i feel like they'd open about the same time it's all right we got a good start get the boxes ready we can always go down to that one and add on to it we also need to fix the box yeah both have so great produce um make it nice last year we came down and got green beans canned them we threw all of the scraps into the planter box and then we had a full green bean garden going within a couple months like kept we got tons, of, tons, green beans. tons of green beans, even more that we could can and cook for dinners and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, it's worth it, it's all worth it. So, at least we made the trip down, we'll get a head start. But if you're going to can green beans, you need to ask about the different types of green beans because some of them have strings, and you got to remove the strings, and you got to remove all the strings, which is a pain in the butt. So they know can't. what you're getting yourself into. If you they, want to go off the grid and do canning and all this stuff they that's can't see trendy. Me, that's what I can um, still see you when you leave. Just a shadow. Yeah. I think it's the Malibu stringless beans are the ones you want because you can just literally wash them, cut them up into pieces, and can them. Which again, it's not a big deal if you can can them with the string, but then when you eat, you have like a string that you have strings uh, pulling it's out. It's kind of annoying, so. And it's very time consuming if you get the beans with strings. You're like fingers. Your fingers hurt, hurt and it's them. so hard to get the strings off. It is like that is just a project in itself. It's like a full day project. That takes canning your beans. That takes canning to a whole other level. When you gotta sit there and string a bush. A level that I don't have patience for. Alright. Let's go eat. I love a and W. I love the root beer, but there's just something about coming to the drive-in and ordering nostalgic. It's just so good. Isn't it weird how $20 can bring you such happiness and food? It's gonna bring you joy. $20 can make you so happy. You exchange that for delicious food and root beer, and then you, mmm, it just tastes so good. I just, it's fun. I like it. There must be something about it. Look at those fries. Are these the best fries you think? I think so. Just making sure. Should be playing, right? Yeah. It's funny how your kids <clears throat> can be so different yet so alike. Taylor absolutely loves A and W root beer. Mackenzie likes root beer. She does, but she's not as like. But she wants like, a flow. Crazy as Taylor is for it. We got a gallon to take home to her because she will no problem destroy it. Mackenzie loves sushi and fish. Taylor absolutely hates it. Babs hates it. Kids are the funniest thing in hell. Some of them will get athletic talent. Some of them could not be athletic. But both our girls are very athletic. And they are. <clears throat> some could be coordinated, some not coordinated. Some can draw and like art. Both of them can draw. It's kind of it's crazy. One's crazy. a little more sassy than the other. Crazy being a human. We're wild. 